Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about banking of transformers. I'm going to discuss the four main ways to connect three single phase transformers to form a single transformer bank and the characteristics of each. I'm also going to solve problem on transformer bank. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like and notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's begin. Three single phase transformers can be connected in four common ways to make a three phase transformer bank. The first connection is Y delta. It is commonly used to step down from high voltage to medium voltage or low voltage. Neutral is provided for grounding on the high side. The next is the delta Y. Conversely, it is commonly used to step up from low voltage or medium voltage to high voltage. The third one is delta delta. This has the advantage of having one transformer removed for maintenance, while the other two remain operational in VV or open delta connection. However, the rating will be reduced to 58% of the capacity of the original three-phase bank. And lastly, the YY connection. This is seldom used because power circuits supplied from YY connection generate critical electromagnetic interference to nearby communication systems. There are some keynotes to be remembered when using transformer banks. First, the theory is the same for the three-phase transformer unit as for the three-phase bank of three single-phase units. Second is, it has the advantage of replacement of only one unit of the three-phase bank in case of failure and not lose the whole unit. Therefore, only one single-phase unit is required for spare. Third, Calculations on three-phase transformer bank under balance load can be easily done with only one phase or one of the transformers only, recognizing that the conditions between the three phases are identical except the phase displacements. And lastly, it is convenient to perform calculations on per phase or line to neutral basis since the transformer impedances can be added directly to the transmission line impedances we may have to use delta to y impedance conversion. Now, let us solve a problem involving three-phase transformer bank. In the diagram, we are asked to find the line current in the primary, phase current in the primary, line current in the secondary, and the line to neutral voltage in the secondary. So first, we write the given. So S is equal to 50 MVA. 10 the 6 and then the line voltage in the primary is 13 kV so V line primary is equal to 13 kV times 10 to the 3 okay and then the line voltage in the secondary is 138 kV so V line secondary is equal to 138 kV times 10 to the 3 okay so first we're going to solve for the line current in the primary so line current in the primary will be equal to S divided by square root of 3 times the voltage in the line voltage in the primary so square root of 3 times line voltage in the primary which is V LP this will be equal to uh, 2220.578 amperes okay and then the phase current in the primary will be line current in the primary divided by square root of 3 okay so I I that phase in the primary will be I LP or line current in the primary divided by square root of 3 so that will be equal to 1282.051 amperes and then we're going to solve for the line current in the secondary so line current in the secondary will be equal to 
uh, S or the capacity of the transformer divided by square root of 3 square root of 3 times the line voltage in the secondary uh, B times secondary so this will be equal to 209.185 amperes okay and lastly we're going to solve for the line to neutral voltage or the phase voltage in the secondary so V let's say LN line to neutral voltage is equal to uh, line voltage in secondary divided by square root of 3 so that will be equal to 79,674.337 volts or 79.67 kV okay so as an alternative calculation for the line current in the secondary we can use the formula above here so line current in the secondary because it is because it is delta to y will be equal to the line current in the primary times the turns ratio divided by square root of 3 so this turns ratio here is equal to the ratio of transformation of the single phase transformers so meaning we're going to use the phase voltages to find the turns ratio so in here because the connection is delta in the primary the phase voltage in the primary is also equal to the line voltage which is 13 kV on the other hand the phase voltage in the secondary uh, Y connected secondary will be 79674.337 so we're going to use those values to find A so A will be equal to uh, V that LP which is the line current uh, the, or the line voltage I mean in the primary divided by uh, VLN VLN okay So, our A will be equal to 0 0.163, okay, so let's put it in here, 0 0.163. So now, if we apply the formula, I dot LS, I uh, LS, or line current in the secondary, will be equal to line current in the primary which is I LP times A divided by square root of 3 times A divided by square root of 3 okay so that will be equal to 209.85 same as this one okay so we can either use this formula uh, the straightforward formula from the three-phase transformer or we can use the relationship from from this diagram okay that's it for today's video and if you like it please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to share this video thank you very much and god bless